More than 4,000 Airbnbs and short-term rentals could soon disappear from Atlanta because of a new ordinance cracking down on who's able to rent out their home. The compliance deadline extended just this week as debate over the new rules heats up. Savannah Levins reports. And we have everything here uh, that a guest would need. Kathy McClure loves being a short-term rental host. This is part of our retirement planning. But under a new ordinance passed by city council, she won't be able to keep renting this Atlanta duplex for short-term stays. We live nearby. This is not our primary residence. Under the new ordinance, people can only own two Airbnbs or short-term rental units, and one must be their primary residence. You must be a resident of Atlanta, pay $150 annually for a permit, and pay an 8% tax rental fee. It also cracks down on noise and party violations, increasing penalties to several thousand dollars. I am kind of a good example of how extreme some of the interpretations are. There are just under 7,500 Airbnbs and VRBOs in Atlanta, according to the companies. 54% of owners in the city have more than two listings, putting them in violation of the new rules. This is how I make a living and support my family. Rich Monroe is president of the newly formed Atlanta Metro Short-Term Rental Alliance. The reality is there's going to be a lot of jobs at stake. The local economy is going to be impacted. Supporters of the ordinance say it'll help address unruly parties and make homes more available for residents who need a place to live. In Atlanta, there's been a 37% decrease in available housing rental properties since 2019. The deadline for short-term hosts to comply with the new rules was pushed back this week from June 1st to September 6th after complaints that the permit application process was tedious and confusing. The risk that the city is taking with a overly complicated process is that they will have a large number of so-called illegal units. The city is setting itself up for a failure. In Atlanta, Savannah Levins, 11 Alive News. Monroe says they are working to convince city council to allow for a legacy option that would allow current owners to continue to operate short term rentals, even if they have more than two properties. See what city council had to say when we asked about that on 11alive.com.